Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the micron gauges that I've been using. Um, and uh, we'll discuss the good and the bad. Stay tuned. All right, guys, these are the four micron gauges that I have used recently. This one I haven't used in a couple of years, but um, it was dependable. The reason I quit using it was because it's hard to isolate it if it's hooked up in a configuration like this. Uh, you can put a cap on one end and then just hook up to here. That'll work just fine which is what I ended up doing to begin with, but I kept finding myself having to clean the sensor over and over and over again. So I did end up set, setting it up where I use a valve core removal tool on all of these. And, um, but this is the one I used for several years. It was dependable. It works, um, but I do recommend putting a cap right here and uh, just using one side and find a way to isolate it from the system when you pressurize it. Because if you pressurize on it one time, you're gonna have to clean it. It's gonna start working. And that's basically the case with any of these. The next one I started using, let's move this one out of the way. The next one I started using was this by Philpiece SVG3. And it has consistently been one of my better micron gauges. It, it just works. And as long as you keep it isolated from system pressure, it will continue to work fine. I haven't had no problems with this. Um, it just, it works now the um the next one this one is the mg44 which i think is the most recent one by field piece this is the one that i am using right now i have had to clean the sensor on it multiple times um what happens is get a little pressure on it or sometimes you don't think you do and you pull it off the system and it still shows microns that's a sign that you got to clean the sensor and i use isopropyl alcohol the highest percentage of alcohol you can find and this one has also been very dependable it has the bluetooth capabilities that i like um it's not super fancy but it works so i really like that one and then we come to this really expensive Appion AV760. I mean, it was almost like $500 for this thing. It's got a fancy app that goes with it. Um, it's, and it was very accurate. Probably the first time that I used it. And it's got a, a really convenient filter you can pull this off and it prevent helps to prevent oil from getting on the sensor it reads microns all the way up to atmospheric pressure but i have found that if you get oil on that sensor i have been unable to clean it to where it works properly and i have tried multiple times this thing has to me it has been a disappointment i've tried to clean the sensor and then they make it a little bit difficult to send it back um the place i bought it from didn't want to take it back i got to get a receipt and send it in and i think there's still something i gotta pay but i was only able to use this like one or two times and the second time i got pressure on the sensor i tried to clean it and it just would not work at all so, um, I mean, I was having severe difficulty with it. Like I could never get it to pull down below like 10,000 microns. 
and um, to me that's just unacceptable. They do make it where it looks like it's easy to clean the sensor. I sprayed isopropyl alcohol in there and it just did not do the trick. So um, I'm not real sure what I'm going to end up doing with this one. I might end up sending it back, but I but I thought about trying to put more alcohol on it and try to fix it. And uh, we might tr try to do that right here. All right, so if you do want to fix one of these, this is the proper procedure. Yes, I think it's fixed. I'm not going to have any more troubles out of this. And I don't have to worry about the warranty anymore, do I? Well guys, I hope you got a little something out of that video. If you really do want to try to clean the sensor on those, put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in there, in there where the sensor is, right there where your hoses hook up or your um, valve core removal tool hook up and shake it, drain it out, let it dry real good. Do that, shake it up like that two or three times and then let it dry real good. And that normally fixes the problem. I just did that multiple times with that particular micron gauge and it never fixed the problem. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'm sure there'll be more to come. Catch you on the next one.